my name is Damien Dominique and yes I am 28 and yes I did just cartwheel my way across Arrain de Lutèce. Now what are we doing in this video? Now look, I've been living in Paris. I mean quite literally it's only been two years but I've been coming back and forth for about 10 now. You know I did have an ex here. Um, we have like a pretty good relationship now. I do see him a lot. Last night we were supposed to go get Thai food but we did have a little bit of an argument. He thought that we should go to this restaurant and I was like we don't need to go there when we could go to this one that I like. So we did not end up seeing each other last night. With all that being said, I would say that I do know Paris better than any other city in the world. And even with that being said, there's still places in Paris that I don't ever go to. Case in point, Arrain de Lutèce, baby. No, I'm just playing, I'm not gonna go the whole way. <laughs> For booty for once, then maybe we can get to Arrain de Lutèce. See, and how long have you lived here and you've never been here? Two, two years. <laughs> two <clears throat> years. <laughs> the one pigeon like watching the match. <laughs> It smells like a four loco in here. A what? A four loco, Chloe. Do you know what a four loco is? No. Come on, we gotta get you one. What the fuck is that? A four loco is this disgusting drink that you drink in college. That's completely like dangerous for like you. Like alcoholic. Oh yeah. Now, you're like, why is this place called Arrain de Lutèce? <laughs> you guys, Paris hasn't always been named Paris. Paris used to be named Lutes or Lutetia, I guess in Latin. Yo, this was like one of the originals. Why is Paris why named is Paris? Like, why isn't this place, why don't we call this Lutetia anymore? It's derived from its early inhabitants, the Gaelic Parisi tribe. The meaning of Gaulish name Parisi is debated. Great, cool. <laughs> We're not wasting any more time, Chloe. <laughs> Presentations of comedies or shows and dramas, as well as like bloody combat. All right, let's go get a pastry. Someone's playing music. Stop it. Stop it. If you weren't aware, if you haven't been to Paris, Paris is divided by the Seine, which is the river here. And for the most part, the Rive Droite, the like northern side, it's called the right side. That's like where most of the action is, to be honest. Like that's where Chloe is. <laughs> Over here is a lot more calm, residential, like they say it's more rich like in some parts. And it's also the older part. Um, code for boring no, <laughs> no but that's the reason we don't really come over here and that's why we're here today huh bonjour je me suis dit qu'aujourd'hui je vais prendre une pâtisserie parce que je prends jamais des pâtisseries alors que j'habite à Paris c'est un nouveau jour quelle est la petite pâtisserie la plus commandée c'est le rocher c'est le rocher oui, c'est ça oui après la pâtisserie la plus vendue en France c'est l'éclair en chocolat L'éclair au chocolat, ça. ça. Tartelette framboise. Ça va être tartelette framboise. Merci. Y'all know about boulangerie, right? Like the bakery system here. Okay, well, half of them are pâtisserie and they have like some dough pastries. It's just I never had a sweet tooth, so I never get them. So what's the video called? Can we bring up the title of the video? Things that I did when I shed and I just shed and I shed and I shed and I did it. The only reason I've gotten this, you know why? Cause my ex got it. Here we go Here. again. I know that this is good. I've had a bite of it, but I just never get this. Like, come on. All right, everyone, so here we got a tartelette framboise. We got some raspberries going here. We got some cream. Yeah, it's the creamy bit. I thought you don't really have a sweet tooth, though. 
But now you're just... Until now. Until things I don't do in Paris, but I should, but I don't, but I should do, and I still don't, and I still should. Cheers. To recap, Chloe's still looking in her bag for something. <laughs> Was that good? Absolutely. Delicious. But to me, it's like on the same level as like a... <laughs> an apple or something. Like, it's, they're both good. <laughs> You need to expand your taste. <laughs> like it was, it was delicious, but I'd rather eat something healthy and delicious. Yeah, but I don't know. Is there such a thing as healthy? And, well, I know there's a thing as healthy and unhealthy, but like, yes, yeah, you ever seen my refrigerator? <laughs> it's called Marks and Spencer, baby. Yeah, food should make you feel good, and then if you feel right. good, right, and eat that's why I don't go there. <laughs> I've actually been here before. Um, I've been to this place. It's called the Jardin Botanique de Paris. Would love to take you in there, but I don't want my camera to get broken again because the condensation got inside the lens. The lens ended up getting ruined. And so we're not going to go there. Instead, we're going to try to find this new place called the Alpin Jardin. Except we can't find the entrance. Let's keep it moving. Ménagerie entrée principale. Ménagerie entrée principale. Jardin Alpin École de Botanique. École de Botanique et accès au Jardin Alpin. Accès au Jardin Alpin par l'école de botanique. I swear we were just there. Right, this is why we don't come here. <laughs> it should not be this hard to find the Alpin Jardin's entrance. How do you get in there? Also, it's mid-August, which means that it could be completely closed to public right now. To the public. Sorry, it's like I'm learning German. We've got another sponsor video coming up. <laughs> Let's go to the excuses, next place. Excuses, <laughs> excuses. All paths led to the Tarif Menagerie, which means that you have to pay 13 euros to get in, which is exactly why I have never been here. Y'all, I have always wanted to come here. Always wanted to come here. This is called Le Viaduc, and I know this place because I took a, a piano class over here. I haven't been back, I'll be real. I've been to the piano class once, but I started really liking this neighborhood called Le Dru Roland, one of the hardest neighborhoods to say, to be honest. And I keep passing this place, because just look at this. Oh, so he about to get in the via do. He about to get in the via do. And I'm gonna do like a little prosecco. Cheeky. Cheeky. It's a cheeky prosecco. <laughs> if anyone has an apartment in Le Dru Roland, <laughs> on aimerait prendre deux chèvres chauds. Salade chef chaud. Mm -hmm. Just un piché de celui-là, le plus simple. Merci. We got the chef chaud. <laughs> chef chaud is goat cheese salad. Yo, they toast this goat cheese, put it on like a little crisp. Mm. Then they put it in the salad, like this mesclun salad. Go ahead, go ahead. Bon app. <laughs> That's why I had to copy you. I had to get this. And I wasn't even mad. I was like, get it, you need it. The it's more delicious. goat cheese, the better. So I was telling Chloe earlier this morning that last night I was laying in bed watching apartment tours. And I saw some from New York, saw some from LA, and I started to get this little like feeling like, damn, these apartments are so nice, like that view is nice. I was imagining the lifestyle. And then I had this thought. I'm about to walk outside into Paris and make a video. I've been wanting this forever. And I'm about to meet up with a girl with a British accent. Well. And I was like, that's not gonna happen in LA or New York like so easily. Cause you in London, I mean, it's pretty easy as well to like meet international people. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's different though when you're from a place. True. You know, you meet more international people I think when you go into a different country that you're not a native to true because in the states i just feel like it's more second generation like you got people from other countries but it's like their parents moved and now they're like pretty much american mm, yeah who would want to like go to the states these days <laughs> Damn. cheers okay I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> wait i have to like look you in the eye Sante. because i just went to the bathroom and i just realized like this is why i wanted to come here you walk in this building you're like truly in the arch of, I guess, an old railway track. Like, how many stories were on that train? How many people came in and out of the city on this railroad? Like, we don't gotta go there, but, you know, I was peeing and thinking about it. Okay. 
it's on. Yes. It? Well, now I'm gonna wait for the joggers. Tika, tika, tika. Tika, tika, tik. Exactly. Here we are in the Coulee Verte, um, which apparently used to be called La Promenade Ponte. I thought they were the same thing. Let's keep it moving over this way. Yo, this used to be an ancien chemin de fer. Used to be an old um, train tracks. And now, <laughs> not anymore, y'all. Yeah. It's basically a path above the city with lots of trees, which is beautiful. If you've been to New York, you might know of the <laughs> High Line. Psych, this was here before. So don't even think you knew it before everyone else, Americans. I'm really just trying to start shit with people every single time. Like you get to walk above the city and have like little lookouts onto Paris. You seriously lost it. Yeah. Chloe. Well, actually, we're probably above the Viaduc right now. I've been cursed by the monkey ring I got in London. It's at the Viaduc. No, but I didn't take it out there, did I? No, I took it out at that place to get my hand sanitizer out. Oh, you want some? Please. I got you. <laughs> there you go. That's for you. So you think that you lost your purse? Somewhere. This is not scripted. Okay, action. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay. Like, she's like going for an Academy Award over here. And action. I've never been on this street. Right? <laughs> 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 Bonjour. <laughs> In your monoprix card? Not the monoprix Not the card. Fucking monoprix. Caught Vital. I'm gonna be waiting ten years for a new one. You're gonna be like me with no health insurance. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is gorgeous. <clears throat> If we could find out how to get in here. So my gym is over here, and I pass this place all the time. It's always been under construction. And then you look it up on Google Maps, it looks gorgeous inside. I don't know if they let everyone in here, or if you have to have some sort of research pass, if you have to be some sort of étudiant. So we're gonna go and see what the dealio is. Only one way to find out. This is funny depuis la COVID. Ah, c'est fermé, fermé, fermé. Yes, with the pandemic. Ah, okay. Okay. Dommage. 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 <laughs> you want to know why? You want to know why? This video is titled as it. Let's pull up the title one more time. <laughs> what are the things I should do? The things I should do, and I didn't do, but I should do. how it's gonna go. I'm not a fan of Ferris wheels. I don't even know how to say Ferris. Actually, I do know how to say Ferris wheel in French. It's called La Roux, I think. The point is, I'm not a fan of Ferris wheels. Now look, we're here in the Jardin de Tuileries. It's a beautiful place, by the way. You got the Louvre over there. You got the gardens over here. They even got some goats chained up. The fact that it's like chained, though, I don't know. We're about to go to the carnival, or in British English, they call it the fun fair. I, I just learned that two seconds ago. We're gonna go get on it, because I'm sure that that view Gorgeous. Let's go see. Hang. To clarify, you're also not a fan. No, I hate these things. Bonjour. Uh, C'est pour deux personnes. Thank God. Oh no, you can. You wanna give this to me? <laughs> right. No. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Oh, he, it's gorgeous. Oh, this is so beautiful. <sighs> From this wobbly, <laughs> rickety. This is gorgeous. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna put headphones in and I'm gonna listen to some Zen music because I'm on the verge of like fainting. No! <laughs> this is so beautiful. The part that's really cool with this is that you don't get this view of Paris because you're typically on the Eiffel Tower or the Arc de Triomphe or the Tour Montparnasse. You don't get this view though. We're on top of the rooftops, baby! Holy shit! You see? Oh! Oh! Okay! <laughs> okay, I was wrong! I'm like thoroughly impressed by this. Look at me, facing my fear. <laughs> Again, have I ever been to Paris? This is like, you wouldn't think I have. Oh my god, it's so green! Let's go on this every week! 
things I don't do in Paris, but that I should do in Paris. And now we're always gonna do. Okay, this though, I'm not doing that. Oh, hell no. You got we go. I went from this is like the we made this the last thing because I was like I don't know if I could make it through anything else after this. And now I'm truly over here. Can you take that? I'm yeah. like this. <laughs> this is probably like I'm gonna recommend this to everybody now. I gotta change all my Paris maps, all my itineraries. Woo! Okay, I'm really like they're gonna kick us off now. <laughs> You're like, are you okay, Steph? This is so cool. I am having a good time. This is like my favorite thing I think we yeah, did today. Yeah, this is fun. And that ain't a lie. I ain't faking for the camera this time. I'm playing. I don't fake for the camera. Okay. Truly, I'm done though. <sighs> Paris, I love you. Please renew my visa. These are the moments that I'm like, damn, I live in a good city. And damn, I hope they renew my visa. Well, I guess we'll find out soon, huh? Thank you. If you pull a damn like goldfish out of this bag. <laughs> Hello? Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Did I tell you that I went on a date with a guy who told me I looked like a warrior? I'm like, I don't know how I'm supposed to take that. <laughs> Why? Because I look so like worn. <laughs> Chloe, don't get me started. We're still early in the video. <laughs> For like this one euro in my pocket right now. Can you please answer this question? I was laying in bed last night at 11.30, looking up like facts about this place, and it said that this place was built in maybe a thousand, year, year 1000, AD, it said, Anno Domini. And then I'm like, all right, AD, BC. BC means before Christ, which is the system that we're still using, by the way. We have before Christ, which goes to like zero. Zero is like the year of Christ, right? Then we have all the years up until now, year 2020. And I was like, what? This is interesting because why are we still using a system revolving around religious figures when evolution is so prominent these days so i don't even know what my question is for you like what is my question is the question <laughs> please do tell me because i want this one euro <laughs>